How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be changing it up. Graham Stephan makes videos about real estate, personal finance, and credit cards. And he stumbled upon a quote saying that a blindfolded monkey throwing darts at a newspaper's financial pages could select portfolio that would just do as well as one carefully selected by experts. So he's going to put that to the test and he's going to have a famous monkey YouTuber called Monkey Boo select these 10 stocks. Well, guess what? We're here at YouTube and we basically just have the monetization cycle go on and on and on. So I'm going to get in on this and have our own beans pick 10 stocks. There's going to be a lot of similarities. So what I'm going to do is side by side do as what Graham Stephan did, but with just a little bit of tweaks just to make things a little fair, a little more kosher. If you guys like this video, if not for me, do it for beans and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get the most updates, recent videos that we're going to be uploading sometime soon. So why are we doing this other than spinning off Graham Stephan's video? Our monkey's more intelligent than a dog. He's going to be using a monkey, I'm going to be using a dog. Number two, he's going to be using $100,000. And I don't have that much money, so we're going to be settling with a whopping $1,000. For me, that's still a huge amount of money. And like what he's going to be doing, he's going to be documenting it for the whole rest of the year, 2021. So moving on, Graham Stephan showed that he's going to be picking his stocks from value.today, where a thousand US companies are ranked. One thing that I believe that is flawed from this website is their rankings differ in each quarter. For example, Apple was ranked second from January 2022. They become the first one on August 22nd. Scrolling down, it's hard to figure out which one is the second one after that because Microsoft's number three on the first and second quarter and then they slump down to four on. I'm really um, confused about their rankings and their systems. So I just moved on to another website, which I think, to be quite frank, it's much organized. The website is called companiesmarketcap.com. They specifically rank companies by market cap. Well, I sort it out by market cap. Number one is Apple and the list goes on. And the best part about this is they have 293,000 US publicly traded company on this list. As to Graham Stephens, there's only a thousand. I may pick bad ones, but that's a little more fair across the spectrum. With all that explained, we're going to be moving down to 30 stocks where they're randomly generated, and then we're going to filter out for beans to select. You like this area? Okay, we got one. Good job, good job, Beans. Good job. AIV. AIV. Yes! <laughs> Get that Qualcomm! Qualcomm! Yes! Yes! We're, we're gonna have a good year! Okay, just like Graham Stephens, he ranked it and put his two cents on the stocks that Monkey Boo picked. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but just a disclaimer, a lot of these stocks here are something that I would never imagine looking at nor evaluating. So I'm just gonna be putting in my two cents on what I quickly know about the stock and what sector they are predominantly and see how they're gonna be factoring for next year and next coming. Quarters. Let's start with an easy one and work our way down. So number one, we got Ally Bank. Uh, I like Ally Bank because they are predominantly online, if not all of it are online. They got a lot of, of offerings as far as checking, savings, and also they have a trading platform. So I'll rank them just by sheer of utilization and their numbers. I'll put them at the A category. Number two, so the second one would be Qualcomm. Qualcomm is great because of 5G. I actually have some Qualcomm stocks on my personal account. I'm gonna put that on the S category. Chico's is a company that 
He specializes in retail and somewhat online women's clothes. Retail stores that have clothes already, especially boutique ones from the looks of their, their graphs and things like that. I think I'm gonna place it down to a humble E category. They can survive possibly because of the online sales, but gonna be limited on the volume. So LTS USA, commonly known as LTS American Cable Television, so advertising and things like that. I think they are gonna be a great business uh, moving forward. Uh, Altis, I'm gonna put it down to A. So moving on, we got Citizens Financial Group. Citizens Financial Group wasn't really on my list, but uh, I had to do an audible. It was supposed to be, so it was supposed to be OSH, but M1 Finance mistakenly searched for OSK. So it's a big mess up. So I did an audible, picked Citizens Financial Group, and I'm glad I did because they are a bank and uh, it seems uh, that their outlook seems to be very promising. So I'm gonna put it in B category because uh, compared to Ally, I think Ally has a little more recognition. Next would be Apartment Income REIT Corp where they're kind of a, they just did a, um, a split. So Apartment Income REIT is special because they are linked up with the stock ticker symbol AIR where the two parts split up into um okay honestly I don't know much about this stock and I'm just going blindly on this one I'll be honest the fact that they split their stocks um it doesn't look good Gates Industrial Corporation looking at it they they pretty much specialize in manufacturing and power transmission solutions they go for apparently they're worldwide manufacturing right now is kind of tough because technology is outpacing everybody surprisingly they're doing well gates I'm gonna put it down for D generously speaking HFC Holly Frontier Corp is a fortune 500 company based in Dallas Texas petroleum refiner and distributor of petroleum products from gasoline to petroleum based lubricants and waxes because of um, the pandemic industrial projects is a little bit limited right now it's a hopeful stock put it to D servicesource.com it's a penny stock guys we deliver b2b digital sales customer success renewal and channel management infographics webinar videos we got something to show for I gotta be honest you know what looking at their financials and looking at their outlook they're in the tech industry I think I'll give them a chance but I'll put them in the C category Vernado Vernado Realty Trust they are best in class office and retail assets just by looking at it, a quick glance, it seems that they're in the commercial space. They are predominantly in the East Coast. It, they're hurting. They're definitely hurting. It's a risk, but I'm, I'm betting that if the vaccines do well, I'm positive that they can go to up to the $75 range. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it C, just like service source so just like what Graham did he's gonna be using M1 finance where there's gonna be a feature there called my pie and it's gonna be listed down collectively in that pie and equalizing it so that each of the stocks are gonna have fair shares of the $1,000 that we're gonna be putting in it's gonna be close to January 1st and of course, if anybody is interested, I'm going to be putting down the link below. M1 Finance is a great platform to invest into. They got fractional shares and they got that equalized feature. Overall, it's a great platform. And don't forget, and at the time of this recording, it is currently December 28th, 2020, nighttime. Uh, the S&P 500 stands at $3,735 and 36 cents. I really don't have any other reason why I'm doing this right now. All in all, it's a great move for me to do. Thousand dollars putting it in the market is much better than putting it in the bank. Putting it in the bank. To be quite frank, this is gonna be Beans's, you know, lifetime savings. A smart financial move for me as a pet owner. A logical question would be, how long will I hold these stocks, and will I be doing this again next year, and? What is going to happen with the stocks 
if I just held on to it and Beans is not with us anymore? Those answers are yet to be determined, so I'm just going to be answering that when it comes. Not sure yet, but if you guys have any questions or suggestions to what should I do in these type of situations, please comment down below. Don't forget we also got accounts on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, and soon to be OnlyFans. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share this to a friend. We appreciate you guys and see you guys on the next video. I kind of steered beans when I was uh, placing him.